Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna talk about a bait that I got a lot of confidence in, in cold water or when the fishing's tough. That is finesse swim bait fishing, right? Let's head out there, we'll see you there. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, 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 go. Every single day I'll be making moves Till I'm buried in my grave uh, To the system I don't wanna be a slave I've been doing shit my way uh, Or the highway And in the driveway Is a nice range Cause I grind through the climb I invite pain You'll never hear me bitch Nah, I don't call pain Just gotta flip the switch And you can all right guys, first up we have the Six Cents Fishing, the Whale 3.5 inch swim bait. We've got it rigged with a extra wide gap treble hook, right? Two times thick. And I've got it rigged on a slider head here from um, Lure Parts Online. Six Cents actually came out with their own slider head too. Basically what it does is it screws into that swim bait and then it becomes a free sliding swim bait on that line and then you tuck that hook in just like that underwater this bait is fantastic right it's got a nice body roll and wobble and it's really going to allow you to drag that along the bottom it's butch brown rigged right see that treble hook sticking out of the top of the head that's just how butch brown used to rig all of his swim baits and we're talking nine ten inch swim baits that butch brown used to throw now that whole concept has been brought to the finesse game it's not going to give fish leverage it's going to make them not able to throw the hook. This is a really good bait to throw when you are getting after smallmouth bass, spotted bass, any bass that are really going to jump, thrash, throw their heads in the air. That treble hook is going to detach from that swim bait. It's going to save you a lot of baits, but it's also going to get you bit in a lot of different ways. That bait looks fantastic underwater too. So next up we have the Storm Largo Shad, right? And that is hooked on to a tactical bassin, Mad Allen head with the 60 degree line tie on it. This is the Cadillac of swim bait heads, in my opinion. Matt Allen knows his way around swim baits. Tactical Bassin, they know their way around swim baits all the time. I really like the Largo Shad because it's got a nice body roll. As you can see, that accentuated body roll with that nice tail kick, that side to side roll motion really is gonna draw fish in. Now, this bait was made for salt water and then it was remade for fresh water. It is a tough bait. It's got a nice belly slot in it. Storm did a good job on this lure. It really has a nice roll and accentuated roll that Matt Allen jig head does a really good job. You can throw it on a guppy head or you can throw it on that Matt Allen head. I prefer to throw it on the Matt Allen head because it has a more stout hook on it. And fish, when you get these, you really want to be able to wind into those fish to get them and really peg them on that hook so that they're not gonna come off, right? And that, that hook does a great job for me. Next up, we have probably the absolute Maserati, if you will, of swim baits. You have the Mega Bass Spark Shad 3.5 on the Arashi spin head. And this is the bait that you can throw when nothing else in the world will work. Uh, Chris Zaldane, I think, did a great job in a, a tournament one time when these first came out, literally fishing behind five or six elite guys, right? And he's going down the bank, chucking the spark shad on the Arashi head, and you can see on the underwater, this bait is phenomenal, right? The spark shad has a ballasted body on it, so it's got a thicker head and a narrower body section on it, and it is an excellent stability um, quotient for that bait. It makes that bait stay exactly how you want it to swim the whole time. You can see here on the underwater that the Storm uh, Largo Shad looks way different than the Spark Shad does. The Spark Shad's gonna be stable in the water. It's gonna have a nice body roll and wobble. Now, the Arashi spin head here literally was made to destabilize this bait. So this is a beautiful combination. You have a stable swim bait that's always gonna swim right, plus a way to destabilize that bait with a blade in front of it and that is a killer combination right it creates that water disturbance too that fish love i have caught a ton of smallmouth and a ton of spotted bass throwing this i've also caught a lot of cold water fish on this combination right here i have a lot of faith in that arashi swim bait head and i have a lot of faith in that mega bass spark shad it is a fantastic bait to throw all right last but certainly not least you have the guggen bait 
saucy swimmer on a 3.0 owner flashy swimmer. The flashy swimmer is a legitimate killer in any kind of water conditions, warm, hot, cold, medium, lukewarm, whatever you want to throw. It really excels around cover, right? It's got that nice willow leaf blade on there, kicking behind it. The saucy swimmer is really good looking bait. It's got that ribbed swim bait appeal, kind of like an original Kitek. Um, I trust this combination a lot when I'm fishing around emergent vegetation or any of that vegetation that's left in cold water. This is your ultimate dragging it along the bottom bait. It's gonna come through everything. That clicking on the, the blade hitting the hook also is gonna call to fish in different ways. Um, but this is a clean bait to throw in different situations and it's gonna do a good job for you regardless of where you're throwing it. It also has a good body roll, that flashy slimmer. It looks really, 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 really good underwater. Just another way to present a bait that fish haven't seen. Guys, we hope you enjoyed the underwater video today. Um, let us know what you want to see in the comments. We have a lot of ideas. We have a lot of different things that are going on in the channel right now. We're growing exponentially every day. Um, so help us out. Let us know in the comment section what you want to see us do, what baits, what techniques you want to see us cover. We want to make things that are helpful to you, that help you buy products that we believe in, that hopefully you can catch fish on. At the end of the day, we want to save you money. We want to get you more bites. So let us know in the comment section what you want to see in the future, and we'll see you out there, guys.